Hello everyone, welcome back. This is episode 26 of How to Design an Art Book. And my name, Craig Howe, <laughs> which I know. <laughs> but it's for you, for you, the ones that don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, art book, uh, painting number 17 of the 48. Uh, the, the turntable guy painting, continuing with that. Uh, Throwback Thursday, a slide number two. Um, musical guest for ending credits uh, for musicians out of uh, Georgia doing a little acoustic set. And with that, let's go. As with most of the previous episodes, we start off each one with one of the 48 images that will be in the forthcoming art storybook. Hence the title of these of this episode, uh, Designing an Art Book. Uh, this one's episode's no different. We start off with painting number 17 of the 48. They're all in sequence of how they're shown in the art book. The doodle, the worksheet, and the finished painting. Easel time. A uh, little assistant, Bob. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, this one's circled in red. Well, <laughs> I should say mauve. <laughs> this is the one I used for, this is the doodle I used for painting 17. And that's the full-size 10 by 8 inch pencil worksheet. And finished painting, 10 by 8 inches, oil on canvas, title, Roots of a Conversation. Okay, I'm back, <laughs> but I'm going, and I'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to change into my painting shirt. Uh, uh, this little vehicle right here, if you're wondering, uh, this is for later in the episode, Throwback Thursday. Uh, I'm going to start getting my paints all set up and everything, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, I guess first you'll notice there's no paints on the palette. That's because that's not, not what I'm doing exactly first thing. Uh, what I'm doing is, is that in looking at the painting for the past few days, something is off uh, on an angle or something. So I'm actually working with the pencil, uh, reestablish my center lines, and trying to, I think, move everything a little bit. Okay, painting time. I'm moving some things over. I move the tie over. Okay, what I've got to do is I've made a lot of adjustments to try and straighten him out a little bit uh, so he's not on a tilt. A suggestion from an art friend of mine, Karen, uh, suggested that one of the things that might help is when I put in the hair, that that might help also uh, balance him out, straighten him up. So I think I've got it to the point now where I've made enough adjustments here that as this dries, I'll start, I'll put in the hair uh, to see how that also helps balancing him out. Until then, I'm going to work on this section down here.
That's it for the painting this episode. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is uh, a little bit of the progress uh, that's been made. Uh, first one is where I left off, uh, first little coats in episode 24, and then where I left off in episode 25. Uh, that was the last one, and then where I left off, where I'm leaving off with this one, so you can see a little progression. Where it might not seem like a whole lot of difference between uh, this one and the last one, uh, that's fair amount of that is because of all the adjustments I had to make with the measuring and everything. Uh, there is a lot of paint laid in, but it's not dramatically different. So things will probably move a little bit quicker with the painting as far as being able to see differences uh, since I've gotten a lot of the changes and adjustments made. And now for the last segment of this episode, and without further ado, here's uh, Throwback Thursday featuring the Journey to Yukazoo. So this Throwback Thursday Journey to Yukazoo little segment started last episode with me heading out the door. Uh, before we go on, uh, one note I mentioned about paying attention to later in the episode, this vehicle, I was going to use it, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm substituting it out. But this vehicle. <laughs> so just wanted to make sure everybody understood that before I received 4,000 letters wondering what the heck happened. <laughs> so uh, let's go. I'm definitely going to need a little help for this one, Bob. Thank you, sir. My journey to Yukazoo started in Baltimore and followed this route across the United States up and then back again. There's 37 locations. Uh, one of them was in Canada, came back into Maine, and then all the way back to Baltimore 37 weeks later for my solo art exhibit at the Yukazoo bookstore. So my journey to Yukazoo started out last episode with me heading out the door. I left Baltimore on June 3rd. I started on Route 95 south towards Richmond, Virginia, and south of Richmond, I took a bunch of off routes to get me to Route 264 and the Swan Quarter Ferry. And that was for a three-hour ride on a ferry boat to Okokoke, North Carolina on June 10th. This is the title block for the text page. This is the open book pages of the journey slide two. The journal story to the left, uh, this story centers around a little kid named Sherman who's kind of reluctant to join his siblings out in the ocean. To the right is the image page. This is Sherman. <laughs> uh, bottom of the pages of the border art. Uh, let me show you a close up. Uh, this is the image of Sherman. This is the border artwork that's used for the bottom of the page. Uh, the left page border. And this is the right page. Okay, folks, it's closing up shop time. Uh, you saw painting number 17 of the 48. Uh, next episode is painting 18. Uh, we'll continue painting with the turntable guy. Uh, Throwback Thursday. Uh, his next stop is slide three. And the fictitious letter. Maybe. <laughs> I do have one all the way from Kansas. Uh, and for ending credits, uh, musical guest is uh, four musicians uh, got together. For a little acoustic tune and with that take care wonderful people and i'll see you next episode bye bye